So we talk a lot about the AI ops and AI RM from the net ops point of view. We always talk about that, okay, AI ops is all about the L1. You can reduce your troubleshooting code. You can have a better monitoring, better troubleshooting, right? But is that all the, all about? No. AI RRM or AI ops itself is really geared toward the customer success. How we can measure the customer success and uh, is there any study and research has been done in terms of the client experiences? So this is the first outcome that we got from the uh, consumption of AI RRM or uh, RRM uh, from the customer point angle. So let's look back on the overall RRM itself. So uh, what is the RRM? RRM is radio resource management, right? It's essentially make the uh, AP to have a fully autonomous network. AP change the channel, control the power. So uh, we essentially leave the hands of the smart thick AP to decide everything, right? So uh, then a thick AP wasn't really scale enough, so we, we use a power of the controller, so controller have a better perspective. But there is a problem. Even though we use a controller, which have a bigger size of memory, there is a routine and there's a pattern, there's a seasonal effect of my Wi-Fi consumption, right? Wi-Fi utilization, Interferences ha have a certain pattern. Like every Monday, there's certain interferences. Because of the interferences, all things are caused by businesses, and businesses have a routine or season effect. So previously in the traditional RRM, because of every RF scan information, do not retain the long-term historical I mean, the lessons or historical I mean, statistics. It keeps forgetting what had happened in the past. Because it only remember last 15 to 20 minutes. Have you watched the, remember the Memento movie? So that's pretty much of today's, most of the traditional RF management. It's a Memento, they keep forgetting. So they have to keep repeating the same mistake. There's a hole, there's a hole in the wall, there's a hole in the, uh, on, the, on the road, but they keep <laughs> falling into that because they never knew that there is a, I mean, the hole or part, right? So. How we can make this more efficient? And every time the RRM made a changes on the decision, client got an impact. Because the client don't know what is the new AP environment look like. Because AP change the channel, then the AP cannot use, a client cannot use the prior scanning result. Well, I mean, optimize the peak time. We should not make AP to change the keep change the channel. Imagine what can happen on the critical environment in the healthcare and hospitality. I mean, the hospital environment. We have a lot of customers that who do not want to turn on the, any RRM changes during the daytime. But they do it manually without scripting and all that. We should avoid that. We should move on from those legacy manual ways. That's where the AI enhanced RRM came in as a trend-based RRM. And one thing that we want to emphasize is because I know that you heard this story in the last time. So this is all about how we are able to unify our intelligence into a single platform. So advantage that we were able to get is equally available on both on-prem and cloud customer. We are able to maximize the radio capacity reduce the disruption. So it's all that good story, but let's look at the real evidence. Because uh, we only, I mean, we only trust the number, right? This is a slide. Well, let's look at some number. And um, I can't, I can't ignore the uh, the amount of the operational simplicity, right? Uh, from the RNN configuration point of view, we often give us an interesting mission for Wi-Fi consultant. Because uh, Wi-Fi RRM uh, optimization seems like uh, it's a PhD in local science. There's a lot of acronyms that people have to remember, right? Uh, EDRRM, TPC, and FRA, Flex DVS. I can easily make up my PhD degree by just keep naming the acronym of RRM. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sick of it. I don't want to introduce another acronym here. What I want to do is, uh, why don't you let system to uh, automate, uh, I mean, decide what's the best for the end user while, while it retained all the historical event. I'll give a simple example. Can I have also one button that I can download the DFS event from last six weeks? Yes, that's what I want. We have the one button, download detail, that allow us to download all the events that happened in my, throughout my network. 
what DFS event happened and from an impact on what AP and how much time that AP have to wait till reusing that same DFS channel? Where is the demo located? Now we have a historical context. Network become way more stable and reliable. Right? Now we have a raw data. We're not just talking that, okay, you have a simple problem solved. No, we have problem solved. And by the way, this is what's happening in the real time. And that happening is indeed able to stabilize the network, reduce the changes on network. I mean, anyone, do you, do you know any customers who love the changes? No, I, I don't want to change it. I'm close 50, then I don't want to see the change anymore, right? So uh, with the AI RRM, it allows us to reduce the changes significantly. But change itself may not mean meaning much. Okay, I mean, network, but the, and you guys need to continually optimize the network. So what about the client? This is a customer quote. After I got the new AARM, I don't know what happened, but suddenly my network a lot more stable. My end users got much happier. I mean, the what black magic you did because suddenly my network got much more stable than what it was before. And this is, uh, I mean, the, the, my most, uh, I mean, the, how do I say, eye-opening eye slide deck from the statistic point of view. The less number of changes in RF indeed improve the roaming experiences. Can anyone can solve this puzzle? It's quite easy. Because of the, every time the client make a roam to other AP, client need to know what channel that I have to jump into, right? Client maintain the neighbor list, the neighbor list has to be, I mean, has to predict, has to know what is my next target AP. But what if the target change the location, right? That is what's happening all the time in the, in, in the world of uh, auto RF or RF optimization. Because APs keep changing their goal, client just keep missing it. Because I thought that there is a goal, but if I go there, there's nothing. Hence, roaming fail. Hence, the roaming experience get worse. And with a stable network, now the, even the roaming experience got improved. This is an amazing uh, discovery. And the uh, adoption of a trend-based RRM or AI RRM, having in the one single common asset really help us to accelerate the innovation because we can use a single model we don't need to have a multiple model on the multiple occasion by algorithm, single uniform. Why the single algorithm better? Because we have a bigger and larger target. The number of a Wi-Fi network is not 8 million from the Torah Cisco point of view. We have a 13 million network with a, half of them came from the on-prem with the DNA center. And with that power of the knowledge and with the size of the data, you know that every time we do AI, the number of parameters is important, right? So we have the biggest parameters uh, while we create the AI RRM model, because it's all for the customer. So let's look at the actual numbers that what we've got. Uh, this all that came from the actual SF office operation, which is a fully migrated to the unified AI ops cloud. So uh, if you ever, ever visit the Meraki offices, so this is a five-story building, and then uh, there's a lot of off um, Cisco members using not just Meraki, but uh, AppDynamics, the Thousand Eyes, and uh, the Umbrella folks, and also sales folks are using this location. And we have a multiple mixed AP version. Typical, right? It's a very typical environment uh, because no one can maintain the one AP model across the whole, I mean, the floor. So in this environment, what we've got, after we change it from the snapshot RRM to trend-based RRM, the client was able to get the better, I mean, the better experience with the with the better uh, SNR, the overall, the over the air got much cleaner, the signal level improved, utilization reduced, all things come down as a better RRM health score. And RRM health score, I know this is also kind of another science and uh, the mathematics, but uh, let's just look at these T's. If you look at the prior one, the yellow, there's a lot of T's is missing. My T's is gone, right? But uh, now with the new trend-based RRM, AI in RRM, this fluctuation got much more platinum, right? We don't see uh, this whole uh, imbalance, the channel location, everything is now balanced and fully utilized. So this helped customers to get a better visibility. And there's a, we all know that customers want to use a legacy view. So this is a brand new view that uh, we have introduced, uh, the new AP, AP Naval view. We'll give a little time for screen to get updated. 
By the way, this is my last slide. <laughs> so I, got, I got a quick question for you. Yeah. So are, when, you're, when you're talking about these views, are these in Catalyst Assurance yeah. or Meraki Dashboard? Oh yeah, this is, for, this is not about the dashboarding, and uh, this is not on the Meraki Dashboard, but uh, I'm going to show the Meraki Dashboard and right next to the screen. Okay. So we want to see this whole distribution of a channel, right? So this is a brand new AP Never view that we have introduced. Uh, this real-time view is, works like a, just a Wi-Fi scanner. We use a turn on the one, zoom into the AP, then the single AP will display what is my AP versus the others. So you can see this beautifully distributed channel location across my neighbor. And you can see that how each neighbor uh, react based on the number of users or based on the RSSI. And this will help the customer to, to, to get the better visibility. You don't need to dispatch the people uh, on site because you can get the same view from your remote location.